Hey everybody, it's me DG Tronic and I'm back with another Motion 5 tutorial video for you guys. In this video, I'm going to simply show you how to make a logo 3D, like as true as 3D as motion can handle. Kind of like what After Effects does with 3D text and 3D logo. Okay, so here I have imported my PNG file. It can be JPEG file or whatever you want, but PNG is usually better for logos because of alpha channel transparency. <clears throat> so I imported my logo and now we want to give it some depth, like real 3D depth and maybe turn it around a bit and animate it and see how it looks. Okay, choose the file. It's already chosen. Go to Object, come down to Replicate. So this is how you replicate it. Then go to the Inspector tab. Under Shape, choose Line. Check 3D. Go to Start Point make the x value 0 go to end point make the x value 0 and right about now would be a good time to go here and add a camera so you can see what happens after these steps Switch to 3D. Go down here and click back on Replicator. And in the Inspector tab, that's the right place to be in. But before you go and change anything in the Inspector tab right here on the Replicator, uh, come over here, grab this, which is basically your camera movement, twisting, uh, not twisting, but turning the object a little bit. To its side so you can see what effect the um, depth will have on it and how 3d it's gonna look so turn it to the side a little bit come back here to the replicator tab and go to end point and start giving it a depth of Z a negative depth value you can try the positive, it doesn't really matter, it's basically the same. Either a positive or a negative value that you like. This is how much thickness you want your logo to have. And right now, it looks as though it's separate flat layers. It doesn't look like it's 3D. So, to remedy that, again under the Replicator tab, come to Points and drag it out to make it a solid layer like that and you can even click here and type in a number higher than 20 let's say 200 and that makes it really solid on the logo right there and if you want to change the perspective of the depth go to the y value on the end point and that way you can play around with that you want it to go up, down like this you want it to go up like this or you want it to stay like a normal perspective like this that's up to you and I right now think that the Z depth is a little too much, so I'm going to decrease it a little bit. That looks better to me. Now I can come here and again grab this circle which revolves the uh, logo around and take a good look at it and see how the whole 3D thing is. In terms of the 3D look, it looks really good to me right now. I like the depth and uh, it looks as natural to me as it can possibly get using a software. And you can even try looking at it like this from top to bottom. 
it looks okay from bottom to top it looks good now you have a 3d logo ready to be animated so that's how you make a flat logo file into a 3d logo using apple's motion 5. thank you for watching this video don't forget to follow me on twitter twitter.com slash dgtronic thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel don't forget to do that keep updated with what i'm about to do uh, it's a bunch of cool stuff, tutorial videos, app review videos, and all of that on youtube.com slash digitronic. I will see you in the next video.